everybody, it's Michelle. Went to a couple of yard sales hmm, last weekend, and then this past weekend I went to a bunch with Hubby. And at the one about a week ago, I got all of these oil lamps. And there are old oil lamps. Even a couple back here. This one here is red. This one's copper. That color, I can't really tell. I don't know if it's black or a dark burgundy or what. And then the two metal ones, I'll have to get the globes for those. But I know Walmart carries them. This one is clear, but it's got the red oil in it. Uh, the little Christmassy ones were a dollar for the pair. All the rest were like two dollars a piece and I love these because that wick goes all the way to the bottom so that's a lot that would be almost a whole bottle of oil that can go in those and then pardon my mess as we go into the kitchen to show you what else I found you'll have to ignore the fact that I have boxes in front of my dishwasher because I'm not done using my dishwasher. And what's in that bottom box goes in to the dishwasher. All of these canning jars. I got all these mason, ball, cur. And I mean the dishwasher is nothing but canning jars right now. And I've not seen a mason jar with a star on it. So I'll have to do some research on some of these. But the whole thing is filled up. It's been washed, and I've started putting seals and lids on them so I can see how many more I needed. But this bottom box still has a bunch of jars in it. And then I had to soak a couple. $30 for all those canning jars. Now, some of the wide mouth up here were mine. I got this Coleman container here. It's got the sippy cup thing on it. I got this thermos. And I got this thermos. And it's got the sippy cup thing, too. And it's in the process of drying. So that's the reason it doesn't have its lid. And I probably paid, I think, $4 for this one. This one was like 50 cents. This one was like a quarter. And then the deal of the day. And I do mean the deal of the day. This old canner. It is, and I don't know how well it's going to show up, it is a steam liner pressure cooker from the Lakeside Aluminum Company. It's a model A16. I will have to replace the uh, pressure gauge. I'll have to find a weight to fit it. The little uh, gasket here, all that will have to be replaced. The rubber gasket ring on the inside needs to be replaced. Five dollars. They don't even make these anymore. Um, I've had to find a place online to order a gasket and it's going to cost me about thirteen dollars for the gasket for the inside. Um, I'm going to see if I can't find at my local hardware store the pressure gauge and the gasket for here and see if one of the weights won't work. But this still has the original wooden handles. So, I was so excited. It's even got the rack inside. It's a little on the rusty side, but I can take some steel wool and clean that up. Or just buy a new one. Makes no difference to me. But yeah, that was an awesome find for $5. I could not believe it. So I snatched that bad boy up. 
But that's just a few of the things that I've picked up. Uh, the rest was like toys for the kids because, you know, grandkids, you can't take them anywhere and not buy them something. Thanks for watching. Bye.